We are back at it again here with another video with Invest for tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. Alas, firm returns for the smash that like button to let me know you watch this video. Helps out the YouTube channel and lets me know you appreciate the time and effort I put into making these videos. So here we are with BBIG stock, Vinco Ventures Inc. And it continued to go lower. The volatility continues to persist. And we're going to look at some key levels going into next week. And it was not the only stock falling. The overall market and the SPY was falling. And our SPY bot since 8.15 a.m. sent us out a bear indicator. And put options were up 5 to 7x within an hour, guys. This is our new release that allows us to have an edge within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities, whether stocks are going up or going down. And you can now gain access to this as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator and getting connected over to the spy bot. So here we are with the volatility continuing here with BBIG. But before we break it all down and we look at the key levels going into Monday, I want to share with you guys the home run opportunity I mentioned this morning over at the Discord. If you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. We look forward to having you join us. We're going to jump right into it here with BBIG, Vinco Ventures, Inc. So the home runs of the day were spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together. And we strive for opportunities like these every single day. So these are the two stocks I mentioned this morning. Both of them gave 5 to 10%, 10 to 15%. But one of them turned out to be a home run. And that was HYMC, guys. We caught HYMC early on in the pre-market. It was actually consolidating and pulling downwards. And towards the bell, it had a quick run of about 10 to 20% plus. Pulled back down took off into transitions of strength here on 42 vision got a bull indicator and hit a highest point of 90 percent plus guys if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market we strive for opportunities like these every single day check out the link down below in the description to the discord we look forward to having you join us and let's jump into these charts now here we are with BBIG Vinco Ventures Inc. And BBIG stock continues to have volatility, guys. The up and down, we had a full transition here from extreme weakness into strength, right? White with red borders, red with green borders, dark green in the volatility continuation and hitting extreme strength up here, which is bright green. And now it transitioned back down, did a full transition here. Pretty exciting. One big move here of explosive run in the after hours and now things have actually pushed right back down so we're actually slightly below yesterday's lows and breaking through key support levels that show us this may retest way back down here at the two dollar range right and if we break through that we have the 52 week range low of 195 and if that gets broken through we have other support levels to watch so this is near its all-time lows here of the 52-week range and all-time lows since the last run in January and this downward direction. I know it can be tough looking at this chart and seeing things way down here, but a lot of people actually see value in this for the long run, right? Not short term. There's been a lot of opportunities within the volatility every single time it hits white with red borders of extreme weakness there tends to be jumps of 10 to 20 percent and also moments and shifts that happen really really fast again and then you see it here 50 to 100 percent and then you have other small jumps like this one 10 to 30 percent and then you have here again another run of almost 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 50 percent runs guys so we are right now in a point of consolidation here okay as long as it does not break too much to the downside too much to the upside this is a consolidation area and it could hold some strength and we did actually see the two dollar range hold strength here but it's quickly coming to retest it again and that's where things are getting interesting here within this chart that we need to watch these levels very very carefully based off supports 
and the chart setup, right? So I'm going to pull up the ultimate 42 vision bull and bear indicators, which you can now gain access to as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators to receive the clarity you deserve within the volatility of the markets, whether stocks are going up or going down. So yesterday we got a bull indicator towards the end of the day here on the 30 minute and quickly things shifted. And once it shifted, it negated this bull indicator. This bear indicator came in to dominate. It was at these highs up here of 234 and it went down all the way to 214 so far. And that's about a 10 to 15 percent move to the downside. Now, we broke through key support levels here of 213, 214 and then 215, give or take in that area. And now we're slightly fighting here to stay above it or get right there leveled off and see if we can bounce back up to the upside based off the 30 minute right but if it continues to the downtrend and the downside the next support to look at this very closely is 210 and then all the way down here it says 203 here the most recent low but i am looking at it from two dollars you want to keep two dollars in mind and then you have 195 so in the bigger picture of things right we have actually sat here and looked at it together and things are bearish, right? Right here, you got that bear indicator since way up here at 333. Things continue to go lower and it was trying to fight and bring itself back up here in this move, okay? But no bull indicator. This was the first time we saw dark green. I talked about it in yesterday's video. No bull indicator. We want to see a continuation of this. And if a bull indicator popped up to negate this bear indicator anywhere down here and no bull indicator this bear indicator continues to actually dominate the chart and things are continuing to stay suppressed to the downside so quickly shifted from dark green to red and the question is could it continue these red bars or start another downside pressure of white with red borders if that happens we will possibly break through two dollars and see newer lows in the charts this is very important to realize and be aware of because things have been under pressure in the bigger picture and very volatile when we zoom in at the 30 minute. Now, the one day has not changed by much, okay? And this is where I found it very interesting. We were under a bear indicator since way up here at 430, consolidation, and then going downwards. And yesterday, when the 30 minute and the four hour was looking strong, the one day was showing red. And I stated we need to see this shift back up to red with green borders or dark green. If not, things will continue in this direction. And when we look back at the four hour, we got green quickly shifted back down. The one day was showing red. So that strength was not enough to make a huge difference. And here we have it again, shifting right back down towards red and even below yesterday's support levels. And it's trying to fight to hold itself up here. So. To the downside, we know the levels to watch. To the upside, we want to see this break towards 236, get above 243, and then we can start talking about previous resistance levels of 270, up to the 280s, and $3. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and let's make some money.